revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Now, Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. And don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played here, including you. It's the Waynes. Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. Alfred. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me, all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. My money has never corrupted me, and I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. You knew all that, and you never let on. You're behaving like I was part of the conspiracy. I want you to know, I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then, they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love uh, for you. I, I know, Alfred, I'm sorry. I shouldn't I have raised my voice at you. I know, I know. We're still family. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. I know. I, I, see, Bruce... 
I'd say Bruce loved his parents, but Alfred was the real father in the end. The called me to collect you. I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. He got careless. Criminals always do. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes, we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. I mean, your parents were murdered. So of course you would have overlooked some stuff. Standing here, right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents killer? The possibilities are frightening. I take him to jail, just like any other criminal. But he's not just any criminal, is he? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Good. <laughs> no one should mourn for him. The fucking... The fucking bastard. Um... This, maybe? The graffiti? Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave, just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Uh, that... W mother arranging a cinema to play the movie when it was all out of when it was out, but it's not showing anymore, just when so you can finally see it again. Memory end. With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really?
That's his biggest mistake. He left Bruce alive. Oh no, he was gonna kill Bruce. Then the cops came. Bruce, are you all right? It wasn't a bug. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you. This could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that, Hart, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. But it doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. Okay, Hal. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen. Finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. Sorry, Harvey, I was going to tell you. Well, tell me what? Your friend here gave us a case that'll put Falcone away for life. A catalog of his entire criminal empire. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. Keeping Falcone in the what, 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 what a lad. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. I mean, he cares about doing the right thing. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. Say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Okay. Children of Arkham. The hell? Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every other time they tried to put me away. We need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth in you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. Lies. More than Lies! That. More like cousins. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pup digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. 
I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. How are you, we family? You showed me the door. Convince me then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Your father, Hill, and me. We ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Ah, screw it. Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. you Just tell me what I need to know. Reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha, she had the human touch. I think you've got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. But you really think I hired Jill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. The They're waiting for you in hell! Oh shit! The bastard had to die. Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! I don't remember this! That smoke effect is fucking uh, uh, atrocious. Time, but not much. Or it's gonna get out sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close. We were this close. I don't. I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. Oh, it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The usual. Harvey's right. We need to control this story or someone else will. Then we need the whole story, not just part of it. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Uh... Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Okay, Gordon. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. 
Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Here we go. Yes, you're drugged. A fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Still visible beneath her skin. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen. You have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. I believe you, I believe so you. Foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then it just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was going to get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm. Guiding me. Like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution Cobblepot said something similar I'm so sorry lieutenant I've let you down we stalled Falcone's lawyers for now but they'll be back how is she did she tell you anything N I I don't worry about that now I found evidence that she was drugged a fresh injection site on her neck I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Uh-oh, fucking... Bruce. Not Vicky! Get the fuck out of here! What are you doing here? My friends in the in the GCPD have been telling stories. Um, can't you leave me alone? I'm in a rush. I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. How do you know that? Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. I have no comment at this time. Don't be like that, Bruce. Talk to me. Fucking <laughs> what? The, what does she think? What do you have to offer that's going to make me talk? A day after he showed up at your house. Were you insinuating that I killed him? Now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. No Just deal, Vicky. Give me something to run with. You're fishing. You don't have anything. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> you should talk to me, Bruce. This is coming out whether you stonewall me or not. I'll tell you what, Vicky. I'll tell you what. <laughs> That's what you can do. If you want answers, there's always a solution. There's, al there's, always, there's always something you can give. That's all I'm asking. I 
either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found for Docs. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. No, it's Whoever not. did this was judge, jury, and executioner. Yeah, me. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... Ace chemicals? We're out of control. injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem seems like a pretty fun drug to be honest. To fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but dragging others to fight them for you. Oh. Considering the amount they stole from Falcone, he could build a small army of remorseless assassins. The thought is chilling. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Okay, uh, here we go. Oi, oi. Just had it. Bring me her head. Hmm. Oh, there we go. You go. You'll be right. All right. A skyline club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce. Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman.
Oh, it's go time. Go time. You lot, come check out this office. Where is I don't know. Please. Oh, you can help me. What the fuck? Was that a ghoul? Expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. I said let him go. You hear that, Rowling? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a punk on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. And did it. Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. I don't I kill. Don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time to reconsider. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? Okay. We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? You're going to attack the mayor? That's not going to happen. Attack? Absolutely not. Mayor Hill's role has been decided. Here's the thing. I actually admire you. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay and watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name! <laughs> uh oh. Like Solomon Grundy. But without the Grundy. Oh, yes. Oh, shit! Did he go? Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. Good. That's not her. They're probably like, yo, why the fuck is Bruce Wayne in this bar? Nope.
Corpse Ring. Uh, didn't you see the game here, asshole? Yeah, I'm sorry. Are you blind or something? I see a monkey with a stick. Not looking for trouble. It looks like it found you. Wait a minute, I know you. You're that rich dude. You're that guy on the news. I get, yeah, that, I get all that all the time. It's something about the chin. You think I'm dumb? Bruce. Stop stirring up the natives and buy me a drink. Wait, what? This guy's with you? Face it, Frank, you suck at pool. Why are you starting trouble over it? <sighs> yes, yeah, Stone Cold Steve nice Austin. One, Bruce. Way to keep a low profile. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I don't you kill. Is she an idiot? When you screw someone over, you really screw the penguin. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly, you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. That a joke? The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald. Penguin is about to unleash God knows what in the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. If Penguin is everything you say, there's no tree high enough for you to climb. He will find you. So what are you suggesting? The bat helps the cat? And the cat helps the bat. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together. After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. I'm sorry, why are, why are we talking about Harvey? He's your friend, isn't he? Just seeing how much of a conscience you really have. You and I... Uh-oh. Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Uh oh. Beat it. We're here for her. Uh, no. You care about your own skin? Go get the hell. You out. should leave. She's with me. I think you need to leave. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. oh shit. Brought out the shiv. Oh, I thought about a Batista bomb the fucker. Give me a kiss. Not 
done yet. I can feel her ass against mine. Ugh. I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Oh, it's go time. <laughs> Jerks on you, you just gave me two weapons. I'm dual wielding. You just gave me a dual wielding weapon. He's gonna be a dexterity weapon. You fight pretty good for such a pretty boy. should go I'll take the rooftops you take the alley wait yes or no will you help me stop penguin I'm gonna say maybe but only because he's trying to kill me pretty good reason to say yes you shouldn't trust me you know I mean, what that ass do? Like, damn. Damn. Eve is better. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Mayor Hill? Uh-oh. The last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. Hill's working with Penguin. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Fuck. I kind of want to go as Batman. But if I want, if I want to go see the mayor as Bruce, though, that would that would look kind of bad on Bruce at the moment. Fuck it, Batman. Batman. I don't care. Going I don't care. Bat Bruce Wayne has ever cared once about what Gotham thought about Batman. He doesn't do it for the glory. What makes him a good hero? He does it because it's the right thing to do. But then you look at fuckers like Superman. They do the exact same thing, but 
He takes photos of people. Where the fuck is her head? Wait, wait. Her top of her head was missing. Oh, nah. I'll be delicate. Don't worry, Alfred. I'm a light touch. When I need to be. The city will thank me later if Hill tells me Penguin's plans. Never, you incompetent. Dents up in the polls. I need to crucify him in the debate or we can kiss re-election and your job goodbye. You'd better be back here in the next 15 minutes. I'm putting your pay. Who's that? <laughs> GG's my guy. Is that you? Expecting someone. Maybe the penguin. Batman? What are you doing here? You know who Penguin is. So I've heard of him. So what? I've got nothing to do with that lowlife. Do you hear me? You're leaving out a few details. <laughs> yeah, don't lie to me, my guy. My guy, don't lie. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Wayne, there's the real problem. He's the one you should be after. Every fiber of his being built on lies. His status, his fortune. What does Penguin want with Bruce Wayne? The atrocities that occurred at the hands of his father. He only wants to expose the Waynes for the criminals that they are. Uh, <laughs> Security! Pick up, goddammit! Security! Oh. Don't kill me! I've done nothing wrong! You can't keep secrets from me. I always find the truth. What the hell are you talking about? Penguin wants revenge for what happened to his mother. Thomas Wayne sent her to Arkham, mm. along with who knows how many other innocents. Nothing was wrong with any of them. Something this big couldn't have been hidden. There'd be records. <sighs> with enough money, you can make anything, or anyone, disappear. <gasps> I didn't dare speak up. Whatever happened in the past, it's nothing compared Lies. to now. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others who <clears throat> were destroyed by Wayne. They'll make Gotham pay for his sin. Lies. You deserve whatever's coming for you. If I hadn't given Penguin what he wanted, he would have struck at the debate tonight. I didn't just do this for myself. I'm trying to protect Gotham. Finally. About damn time. It's Batman! Shoot him! Come on, get the mayor out of here! I heard everything, Master Bruce. What he said about your father, it must be difficult to process. I need to know what went on in Arkham Asylum. Indeed, I'm just as frustrated as you are. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. What else is on here? As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. But Gordon heard about Batman's surprise visit to the mayor. He was far from happy. Thanks for the heads up. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theatre. 
to the auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To it... hear their crimes detailed, first by Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And the city needs you, now more than ever. Uh, I'll, uh, leave you to it, then. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some pot... Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's, it's not exactly pleasant. Why, why? What happened? Are you all right? Me? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, you mean because of this penguin threat? They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of a kill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... That I need to distance myself from you. Yeah, fair. Until all this mess with your family blows over. I, I get it. It's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. No matter what, we need a new mayor. Hill needs to be removed. I, I knew you'd see it that way. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Yes. Whatever it takes to save Gotham. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Uh, to Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember... You are always my friend. <laughs> That's going to come back and bite me in the ass later. Batman. Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. Just so we're clear. You and me, we're on shaky ground. Jim, listen. No, listen to me. The excessive violence, it can't go on. Most of the GCPD already think you're a monster. Don't prove them right. I'm sorry for putting you in a difficult spot, Jim. I value our working relationship. So do I, Batman. That's why I need you to rein it in. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. Well, the frames. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? 
You're gonna drag out that dead horse? We're all on the same side, Jim. Well, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, if you <coughs> scratch my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing. Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much into it. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. <laughs> Even as Batman, he's trying to get people to vote for Harley Dent. Oh, I wish I was that guy. Hey, hey, I wish I was him. Just saying. At least we know why they weren't responding. Yeah, the dead. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, uh, oh, sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. Oh, oh shit! I hate to be a downer, but these hostages, I don't like their chances. Oh, whoops. I'm trying to fix up the camera. You'll do. Get out here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. No. Thank you Wait. for volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Got to take them out quietly. Okay, let's take. Yeah. There you go. Smart. Let's do this. He used the lights.
Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My dear brothers and sisters of God, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption that grew in your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from Oswald has partners. They knew this was too big for Oswald alone. Someone else is pulling the strings. Smart. Let someone else do the dirty work. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Chosen to Go on, love. You know what to do. We gotta stop Harvey before he says anything bad. Damn, the dad well, actually was bad. I forgot about that. Oh, I'm break I'm breaking a bone. I'm breaking one of his bones. I'm breaking your hand. Killed my father. I had him killed because of it. Back my poor old mum. So this is for her. Don't kill anyone else. Wait your turn, Dent.
Where's your mate, Bruce Wayne? Your biggest supporter. And he didn't Jeez. even turn up. Batman! The revolution's already started! It's too late to join! I'm not here to join you. I'm here to crush you. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> Uh oh. Fuck no, I'm going for Hardy. He my friend. Nah, Selene has got it. Nah, Hardy. Mr. Dent. Thanks. She's gonna hate me now. Fuck! Where's the maniac in the mask? City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Mr. Wayne. Lieutenant. He's lucky. It you know. would have been much worse if the Batman hadn't been there. But there still will be scars. My father who did it, not me. That's episode two. What else? Oh, everyone kissed her. I kind of wanted to though. Damn, everyone went with Bruce Wayne. Yeah, obviously. Oh, everyone saved Selena. Next time on Batman, the Telltale series. Batman saved me. I know this isn't over. Who are these people, Bruce? Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now they want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Jeez.
But uh, let's just check to make sure that it, it saved. <laughs> 